Today we're going to cover a third person play to earn action game developed by Drifter which is a company that worked on other projects like Gears of War, Halo and Doom. Ladies and gentlemen, we present you Superior. And you're watching the play to earn channel, I'm Bruno and today we're going to cover this big cast and Real Engine 4 game that just released their playtest. Superior is part of the Gala ecosystem where you can find other AAA projects like Mirandos, The Walking Dead and Spider Tanks for example. We already logged in the game and we already see here a huge monster which is a bit gross and the reason why this monster is here is because in the world of uh, Superior heroes turned into monsters and basically now we as part of humanity have to fight them back. Then the first impression I get about this game is that the graphical style it actually reminds me of Borderland which is cool there are not that many games with this graphical style and I like originality. Now the first thing we have to do is to choose a class. So we have the bruiser which is like some sort of close range tank, then we have the sharpshooter which is a long range damage dealer and we have the trickster which is a class that has abilities that will deceive the enemy with holograms. Okay so we're going to go with the sharpshooter because I always like to take the role of the DPS. Then we also have here some quests, we also have some challenges, okay, and the leather boards, and then we have our skills. And then we also have customization, so we have here some uh, cosmetics that we can equip on our uh, hero. Then we also have uh, some animations, emotes, and spray paints. So we're on episode 1, so there are going to be different levels in this game. Game is really fluid perfectly fluid right now we have a weapon with right click we can actually zoom in and aim or we can shoot just like this we can destroy the surrounding environment really cool love the background music love it the sound effects are really nice too okay we have a juice tank processor here and here we can actually unlock some skills okay we have your credit so we can unlock one of these so let's actually unlock the fire dash so then which skills you unlock depend on your play style so for example this one is to like move around faster but there are ones that will upgrade your melee attack so it really depends on what you want to do and which role you want to have in your party so now if I dash it has like a special effect and it's faster okay so it's easy to move around we already have here some enemies we can like crawl and use the surrounding environment to protect ourselves from enemy fire oh really cool gameplay is sick guys this gameplay is sick oh they're on fire because of the dash so cool okay one thing we have to consider is that we have limited ammunition okay i got like an upgrade to my health let's kick these guys asses Cool, we have here some ammunition. Okay, we recover some of our energy. Oh, we can jump with this. Okay, we have a pistol. Now we have two weapons. Okay, I wasn't expecting a game this good for a playtest, honestly. It's way beyond my expectations. Taking some damage here. Oh, there's like a more powerful enemy. He's on fire now. Damn, they're coming. This is a the fire. They're on fire now. He's getting intense. The battle. They're still low on HP. So there are like an array of different weapons for you to fight your opponent. So that's quite cool. Look at the shotgun. Now we have a close uh, range option besides the, the bat. Oh, there's some ammo here. Oh, but we need to pay. So by killing enemies, you're going to get certain credits and then you can spend them on like ammo and health, I believe. Oh, look at these monsters. Oh, there's like some zombies coming out of there. What's this? Slay, slay the beast. Switch weapon, let's go. Oh yeah, we slew all these beasts. We have 50 HP now, so we're a bit stronger. But the type of enemies is also changing. We're fighting different enemies now. We're going to the extraction point. And I believe we've completed episode one. We're back to the main area. Quite nice. And here we can recover our health if we actually spend some credits. Oh, there's my picture there. Wanted. <laughs> if we actually come here, we can upgrade our skills once again. So basically here, with these skills, we can upgrade our burn. Okay, burn deals more damage every second. It remains on an enemy. And kills enemies when they have less than 10% health. Oh yeah, that's true. Burn now is way stronger. Guys, I'm having so much fun. This game is way too addicting. I can't stop playing. Yeah, boss, that's right. I can go to work. I have to play superior all day. There's priorities in life, you know? Oh, what's this? It's like, it's so gross. We have some time limit to do something. Extract the juice. 
Oh, we have to like stay here, I think. And hold this position. Oh, there's these big ones. Oh, we're dead. They did so much damage. Okay, we've completed some uh, challenges. Okay, and a really cool thing is that basically when you're playing, you have skills, right? But those skills are temporary. But the skills that you unlock right on this menu, they're permanent. Okay, so the first one is auto aim. So when you're, we're like on overdrive, which is like low HP, our weapon snaps to enemies' heads and bodies. So it's like a bot. Now we are with a party. So we're going to play with other players. Oh, but this is the same episode again. Okay, that's unfortunate. But it's okay, we're playing with David Ren right now. Oh, see, and our health upgrade and our armor upgrade. It was reset. Threat level one. Oh, but the enemies are different. I didn't face these enemies in the first uh, episode. So I do think that levels kind of have the same goals, but somehow the enemies are like randomly generated, perhaps. Okay, playing with a team is even cooler. Oh, we can use auto turrets. This is so cool. Look at this. Oh, there are so many enemies. What's this? There's like some big gross monsters following me. Oh, we're taking so much damage. Our teammate died. Can we revive them? We revived our teammates. Okay, we're back on track. Oh, he's bleeding out. Let's revive him. I think we've survived. Oh, look at the big ones. They explode. It's so gross. And we've completed the first episode with our teammate, David Ran. Okay, let's unlock more skills. This is really cool. I'm gonna unlock this. Now burn spreads to nearby enemies. Also, oh, this is where I died when I was soloing. So basically, we're going to have to hold the area now and all the monsters are going to swarm Surprise! In. Oh, they're already here. What's this? I'm out of turrets. Oh, look at this. This is the guy who killed me. He deals so much damage. It's insane. Oh, they're coming from the roof. Too many. Oh, and I'm down. Please revive me, David Ran. I'm being revived. Come on. And I'm, thanks, David. You saved my life. I'm forever in debt with you. And we finished another episode. So now with credits, we can buy this upgrade to our hero. Let's buy this one. So now we regenerate some health over time. It deals a burst of damage instantly. Our character is like getting specialized in burn. Let's restore health. Okay, there's like a boss right here. Some golem. Okay, nice uh, scene. What's this? Okay, I almost got smashed. It's good we have like the turrets and we also have the illusions from our teammates, so it is cool. Okay, he's almost dead. It's quite easy actually. So I think he's like just attacking the turrets and illusions, so it's going to be easy to deal with him. Let's put him under burn. Oh, he dealt so much damage. It was insane. I think he's going to die. What? He just recovered his health. Oh, and there's more enemies coming and we're down. Our teammate is driving us. Okay, this was cool. Oh, and I'm down again. I'm such a noob. And he's dead. We defeated the boss. What's this? I want this. It's a katana. Look at this. So cool. So basically, the juice is what you use to upgrade your human characters. Okay, so they have like hero-like abilities. So guys, now that we actually had a really cool experience trying Superior, you should also know that there are some NFTs for sale right now. So if you actually come to Gala Games Marketplace, you can buy some of these with Gala. There are like different rarities, there are different classes for you to choose from. And what these NFTs are going to give you is a higher level cap, experience multiplier, bonus skills, and increased earning potential. So basically Superior is going to be free to play, but obviously if you want one of these NFTs, you're going to have a bunch of perks that free players don't have. The other thing you must be wondering is that since Superior falls into the play and earn category, how can we earn in this game? Well, there's still not that much information, but what I found in this article was that basically in the beginning it's going to be around leatherboards. Leatherboards will pit players against each other in special challenge runs. 
the game's play and learn component at launch will revolve around these competitions. In these challenges, players will get better loot and increase the experience, so they're worth a try even if you don't stop the leatherboard every day. So guys, quite a good experience while playing this playtest of Superior. It feels really nice and the gameplay is super addicting. With this experience, I became even more bullish on the Gala ecosystem. Make sure you subscribe for more NFT gaming content. Thanks for watching and see you in the Metaverse! Thank <laughs> you.